Welcome to our webinar on remote monitoring and industrial automation systems. We've been helping with remote monitoring applications for over 15 years. Today we'll be introducing remote machine monitoring, alerting and reporting, going over our 4G cellular-based C language programmable controllers with solar chargers, wind energy monitoring systems, stormwater management, IIoT remote monitoring, cloud-based surveillance and security systems for protecting remote, remote locations, and emergency shutdown services. If you have any questions, please enter them into the chat box and uh, we'll be answering them at the end of the training. I'm Maria Santella, sales manager here at icp usa I've worked for icp usa with industrial automation for over 11 years. I was previously an application engineer and have a lot of experience in web development, project management, sales, marketing, and management. Later in the training, Kathy, one of our application engineers, will be showing you a live demonstration of remote monitoring systems with SCADA software. icp usa provides industrial automation equipment, including data acquisition, data communication, controllers, PLCs, and wireless technology. We manufacture our products in Taiwan and can ship orders out within seven to 10 days. We can ship right away for in-stock items. ICP DAS, established in 1993, focuses on improving industrial automation technology. Our products have fire retardant plastic or metal housings that operate in very high or very low temperatures. Our equipment's low DC voltage and has low power consumption. We have a knowledgeable team. We provide free application consultation, specified products, and provide free technical support. We help with answering questions, setting up equipment, and troubleshooting any issues. Our products are very reliable, and they come with a one-year warranty. We give industrial automation training webinars every month on the latest industrial automation technology. We also have a vast library of training videos and other tutorials up on our website. Remote monitoring systems include hardware and software that allow for viewing status and conditions of industrial machinery from another location. Engineers and production management can monitor machines and manufacturing systems in different locations from a web browser. They can track production progress, control equipment, and view reports for analysis. Industrial automation involves logic programming that helps streamline process equipment and machinery operator interfaces with equipment through touchscreen interfaces, switches, and push buttons. Remote monitoring systems allow users to read and log machine data from a distance, start and stop processes, diagnose issues from remote locations, and this all helps ma maximize uptime. Remote monitoring and industrial automation increases safety through monitoring of dangerous equipment, and it you can catch issues and failures before they happen. It also increases efficiency through reporting, which offers powerful insights for streamlining processes, increases product quality through data for improvement, and it lowers manufacturing costs. Uh, it also saves time. Machines usually contain data acquisition equipment. Data acquisition, it's the process of sampling real-world physical information and the conversion of those samples into numeric values for processing by computers, PLCs, and other control and monitoring equipment. Data acquisition information is often used to implement control logic operations, like the turning on of a fan based on the temperature. Machines often collect data, like the presence or weight of materials on a conveyor, temperature, pressure, or other measurement levels. Data acquisition information in a machine is often collected by a computer running SCADA software or a touchscreen PLC. Data is often logged and displayed on a screen. The screen usually has an operator interface to control the machine and view the status. We manufacture different kinds of data acquisition equipment for remote monitoring and industrial applications. Our remote IO modules communicate over many different protocols, including Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP, BACnet, 
can open, device net, ethernet IP, ether cat, MQTT, and Profinet. Protocols are like languages that devices can communicate in each with their own rules, syntax, synchronization, and error recovery methods. RS-485 Modbus RTU supports communication distances up to 4,000 feet, which can be extended with a repeater like our I-7510. Modbus TCP over Ethernet cabling supports communication up to 328 feet, which can be extended with Ethernet switches like our NS-205. Our power meters communicate over Modbus RTU or Modbus TCP and provide power factor, true RMS voltage, true RMS current, active power in kilowatts, and active energy. Kilowatt hours, it's a measure of how much energy you're using per hour. It also provides reactive power, frequency, and more. We provide Modbus rack-based data acquisition solutions that use cartridge I.O., and those are ideal for fitting a lot of I.O. in a small area. Modbus RTU and Modbus TCP based equipment easily works with most SCADA software for remote monitoring systems and industrial automation. Our standalone data loggers have sensors on board and they have memory storage for data logging, communicate over Modbus, so you could easily get the data to your SCADA system. We also have PC boards. They come in PCI Express, PCI, and ISA type. We also have a lot of analog and digital IO type combinations. We provide the Windows and Linux drivers, software development kits, and demo programs. So almost any kind of function that you're going to need, uh, we, we provide all the code. We also provide cables and daughter boards for connecting your sensors and other equipment. The IoT, Internet of Things, involves data acquisition and interconnected physical objects using technologies and software that help exchange data with devices and systems over the internet. The devices need to be individually, they don't need to be necessarily individually addressable. Um, oh no, they do need to be individually, individually addressable, but they don't necessarily need to be connected to the internet to be in the internet of things. As IoT was evolving, we were calling it remote monitoring and M2M machine-to-machine -machine communication. We were helping with getting data wirelessly from data acquisition modules over the internet, through the cellular network, or Wi-Fi to SCADA software for data logging, report generation, monitoring, and control. Some of our customer IoT applications involve tank monitoring, truck tracking, building automation, power monitoring, alarm notification, and control systems. In many IoT applications, data is collected from sensors like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, tank level, pressure, humidity, temperature, or on-off status. It's passed back over the internet to computers or cloud-based systems that run software for control logic operations, scheduling operations, data logging, monitoring, and control. The information may be shown locally on an HMI human-machine interface with the touchscreen like our TPD series. The system can take the sensor data acquired from data acquisition equipment, process the information, and perform automated instructions. A database often stores all the data, and the information can be queried by SCADA software running on a computer. You can often see the status of all your systems over a web page from any device. IIoT concentrators like our WISE 5231 log data and gather the status of data acquisition equipment out at remote locations, allows for the scheduling of operations, and triggers outputs based on inputs. It allows you to view the status through a web page. Um, it allows you to configure all of these rules and conditions through a web page. So no programming is ex experience is needed with the WISE 5231. Data acquisition modules collect and provide sensor information for computers and controllers to interface within industrial automation systems. 
through communication drivers software running on computers, controllers, or PLCs receive the data acquisition information and implement control logic operations like the shutting off of an industrial electric kettle based on temperature levels in food and beverage manufacturing systems. In the past, a lot of monitoring systems were done manually, where a person had to go by every tank or physically take measurements and write levels out by hand on a paper using a clipboard. Software like Indusoft, Aviva, Easy Data Logger, and LabVIEW provide visualization of data through waveforms, pictures, colors, graphics, text, and IO status. Buttons with measurement values on them show the conditions of the system uh, where the Desirable conditions are shown in green. Uh, yellow often indicates the system is acceptable, and red if the levels are out of the necessary range. Apps like Aviva's iOS and Android apps allow for remote monitoring of industrial automation applications from smartphones and tablets. Graphics shown on the screen uh, quickly and easily give you a general overview of the important elements you need to monitor. And then reports can get generated and emailed out automatically based on a schedule, like the end of day. Calculations and computations can be done on the sensor data and allow the system to know when to proceed to the next step in a process. Trend graphs show the measurements over time, which indicate when to change machine parts out, like when a blade on a machine is going dull, energy consumption increases. With PLCs and software, uh, you can trigger motors and relays based on the process data and inputs. All the equipment is mapped into the SCADA system for monitoring and control. Control and data acquisition equipment communicate over different protocols and communicate to the SCADA software through drivers. If you have equipment that communicates over a protocol and there's no driver in the SCADA software for that, we do provide many converters and gateways that bring devices to communicate um, to Modbus, like a CAN bus to Modbus, Provibus to Modbus, Ethernet IP, uh, they all communicate back to Modbus, like HARP, BACnet, DeviceNet, and other field buses for interoperability. Real-time dashboards in SCADA software provide an overview of the status of machines, manufacturing, uh, data dashboards display the location, for example, of forklifts and other mobile machinery. It can display the number of pallets moved, the number of products produced. It can also show trend reports that show if production is at the usual levels or if it's off. Uh, SCADA software includes a web server and web thin clients, which allow for remote access through a web browser for remote monitoring systems. So in the Indusoft and Aviva software that we provide, uh, that comes standard. So every license comes with one web thing client, which means you can log in with one web browser session and additional web thing clients are available for purchase. Audio alerts or MP3 recorded audio files play alerts based on conditions when personnel enters unsafe areas. We provide ALM, HORN, WFBR that communicates over Modbus TCP and has Wi-Fi communication for easy addition to your network. Uh, Modbus at RTU and other versions are also available. Data logs and reports for monitoring get sent out based on the schedule. And there can also be a, an alert page, an alarm page. So just one whole screen, uh, like a web page that shows all the alarms uh, for your system, like when a door was opened, if, it, if that particular door wasn't ever supposed to be opened, you can have just one page for those events. Remote monitoring um, increases efficiency and productivity, reduces downtime, and, and also saves on costs. When a concrete mixing machine malfunctions and cement is being sprayed all over, the appropriate personnel is notified so they can attend the machine. Depending on the severity of the problem, audible alarms and lights go off and machines stop, which saves on cost of the wasted cement products. Sensors connected to data acquisition equipment give input about the position or weight of different elements in production and give indication when conditions are undesirable. 
G4510, it's a C language programmable controller for remote monitoring and control. Options are available, including a version with a display on the side. Uh, there's an optional cellular communication module and also GPS. It has eight analog inputs, three digital inputs, and three digital outputs. It also has a relay output, two RS-232 ports, an SD card slot, and it can get data from flow meters, wind meters, and sensors. It can send out SMS messages easily and communicates with SCADA systems for remote monitoring. Um, I had helped with one system that used these type controllers and they have a Linux computer involved and it allows for logging into a system with different users through the use of SMS text messages. Uh, demo programs come with it and it allows it to be in Modbus RTU or Modbus TCP master or slave. Other programs are provided for implementing functions, including the reading of the date and the time, TCP client, UDP client, TCP server, GPS location, cellular communication, getting data from the onboard IO, displaying the information on the LCD display, logging to the SD card, and more. So that really helps with development. We provide an NBDA server, IoT management software, and it allows for the easy handling of large amounts of IO data, and it really helps with uh, setting up your remote monitoring system. It also supports the GPS data, Modbus data, Modbus, UDP, and MQTT. You can interface with it through SCADA software, mobile devices, or web browsers. Our G4500 family of controllers have been available for over 10 years, and uh, they're, they're also used in boat and vehicle tracking systems, environmental monitoring systems, standalone remote monitoring systems, and more. Virtual private networks are one way to establish secure communications with remote systems. The VPN software runs at both locations and allows for a secure tunnel between sites. It allows for all devices to be on one network and restricts access to the network. Our G4510 has cellular connectivity built in for equipment and sites without cellular connectivity. Modems like our GTM201 USB allows remote equipment internet access. In wind energy remote monitoring systems, turbines are connected to power inverters. Our DN843I CT boards have current transformers that clip onto power cables. They take in the current and they put out a voltage. Our ET27217 analog input modules take the voltage, they pass it to our IWS4201 CE7 touchscreen controller running Indusoft SCADA software for monitoring and control of wind energy systems. Internet access or cellular connectivity allow for monitoring and control of remote wind energy systems. In stormwater management systems, ET7217 Modbus TCP-based analog input modules gather information like tank level, water quality, and rain gauge levels. ET7255 Modbus TCP-based digital input and digital output modules control a valve. It lets water into a lake from an outside source. And web-based dashboards from the SCADA system provide real-time and historical information. In IIoT Internet of Things remote monitoring systems, VPNs are often used to establish secure networks. So you can have uh, different equipment out in the field, including data acquisition equipment, and our controllers, like I mentioned, uh, like the WISE 5231, that allow for the triggering of, the, of inputs and outputs, uh, the triggering of outputs based on the inputs and the logic rules and all that. Um, it allows for communication back to cloud platforms like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, or you could have your own uh, server going in a private cloud. And then um, it's great. It allows for firmware management for devices out in the field. So you don't necessarily have to always go out to the field to, to 
help update something. Surveillance and security systems are usually accessible remotely for monitoring and control. The status of doors and windows being opened or closed on a screen, along with timestamps and a data log of the open and closed events. Cameras capture motion activity and the data is often stored in a cloud on a remote server for easy access through a secure encrypted connection. So we provide all this kind of equipment too. We provide these card readers and they have the, the keypads where you can enter the security codes or you can use the, the cards to um, access uh, doors and uh, the, it has a relay output for triggering the magnetic lock. We also have the touchless buttons for entry access and also for the um, different kind of machinery like the, the toll gate systems. We have the TGW 715 over here um, that allows for conversion from Modbus RTU to Modbus TCP for easy access between legacy serial networks and Ethernet networks and all the data can communicate over Modbus and can come back to the control system. We also have NS216, 16, 16 port unmanaged ethernet switch. It has a relay output and a dual power input. Um, so it helps uh, increase the uptime. Emergency, emergency shutdown services allow for the shutting down of entire systems with the push of a button. Systems can be shut down based on conditions with equipment. We provide AR200 which monitors vibration. If the vibration is above a set level, it can be set to trigger a relay that can shut systems down for safety. GTP541M, it's a 4G multifunction controller with cellular communication, GPS, and IO on board. It communicates over Modbus RTU, triggers outputs based on inputs. It has RS-232 and RS-485 ports for connection with control equipment and for remote monitoring systems. It comes with a lot of great tools and features that make it easy to, to use it with SCADA software. Equipment out at various sites, it all can be networked together and incorporated into SCADA systems, so you can see many different remote sites all from the same screen. Local HMIs like our TBD703 Modbus RTU and Modbus TCP-based touchscreen PLC, it can also display and provide a way to interface with the system locally. Remote monitoring allows for storing important records and provides reports for showing to safety personnel. It prevents serious accidents. It helps and allows for system improvement over time. It also helps with detecting issues and reducing costs. Um, so now I'm gonna be turning it over to Kathy, who's gonna be giving a demonstration of remote monitoring and industrial automation with SCADA software. Hi, good morning. And okay, um, this is the desktop for Aviva Edge, which is, um, it used to be called Indusoft and they're rebranding. And so now they're calling it Aviva Edge. Uh, so I'm gonna basically run a demo that we have. So right on the side, there's the home section. It should gives you a quick overview of all the different things that we can do. So you have a large selection of animations that are available, uh, various bar graphs and buttons, uh, data entry fields that you can set up. You, you can, can also um, import your own images if you want. Yes, definitely. You can import your own images. Um, like right over here, it's like one image of fire, but based on expanding the size, growing it, and then letting it shrink, it's the same image. So it, it can look like fire is erupting. Um, we have, there are gauges that can be chosen, uh, motors. And um, let's see if I can scroll down here. Um, you can have buttons that have commands. 
and various little hyperlinks so you can get to sections on the internet. Um, and you can set up things with position and uh, horizontal and um, vertical. Here's a look at some of the active objects. We have radio buttons, check boxes, push buttons. You can set up a smart message uh, list box to make choices, uh, grid controls. And then we have recipe management where you can basically set up a whole pile of different recipes depending on what your process is. Like if you were mixing cookies, you could do chocolate chip cookies in one recipe, oatmeal raisin cookies in a different recipe, and um, you'd set up all your parameters so that you could load your recipe that you want and, and then execute it and have it create the product. You also have the ability to generate reports. They can be saved in real-time text format or HTML format or comma-separated values um, or, or just plain TXT. Um, they can be viewed or saved. You have the ability to set up all sorts of trends so that you can trend your data in real time. You have the ability to create alarms and then you can acknowledge the alarms when they come up and uh, address whatever situation is currently happening. They have the ability to do multi-touch gestures. So you can use like two fingers to rotate your dial. You can swipe right or left to access different screens or use two fingers to pan, zoom, and rotate. So that there's a lot more there. Basically, there are many different industries this, this system will work with. Um, whether you're dealing with conveyor belts and presses or bioenergy, where you're creating various fuels. You can have ovens and furnaces, whether you're annealing glass or, or you're uh, processing biological waste and um, you have water purification that it's been used for, wastewater, it's also used in oil and gas, and you can set up, you know, a very detailed process where you can see you've got your valves, what's happening with your various valves, um, where's the flow of your product. And oftentimes you can double click the valve uh, to control it, turn it on or off, or, or double click a field and change the value. And we have uh, food and beverages. You can see levels of ingredients on the tanks. Basically, you can look at, see what's going on in each tank. Where are you and what is your current level? You can monitor current temperature. You can monitor pressures. Um, you can use sensors to count the number of cans that might be being processed or filled. You can see what, what is your current state of everything. It's also it can be used in wind farms, which you can see if one of the turbines is not working and then you can go out and address that, you know, that'll trigger an alarm. And then you can acknowledge the alarm and have send someone out to the site to, to fix the problem. You can see right here, you're able to monitor the temperature on the site the current amount of power that's being generated and the wind speed at different turbines. It's also used in solar farms. You can use it to control the direction of your rays. You can monitor the amount of power that's actually being generated based on what direction, at what time of day your, your solar collectors are pointed. And uh, it can help that, indicate what time or when you need to go out and clean. 
solar panels. Well, that is true as well. <laughs> you can also set up a dashboard where you can control whatever your process is remotely. Um, and you can set this up so that if everything is over on a VPN, you could set up mobile. There is mobile options. So you could set it up on an iPad or, or a, a phone and um, literally be somewhere else and uh, control and monitor your current processes. You can set everything up in terms of flow, flow control and flow charts on what your process is and have buttons set up for starting, stopping, holding, suspending, aborting, and then clearing whatever the current situation is. You can see you can set up bar charts and uh, bar graphs to show how what your current values are and see the statistics, the breakdown of how, what percentage of good yield you have, how, what your stop, how long things are stopped, what performance loss you might have, what idle time, how much operating time, what your total time is, as well as, you know, what is your actual speed? How many bad units you produce versus good ones? So you can, and based on what is the current shift, the current day, the current week, month, year. Okay. So we have a couple of questions. Um, somebody asked, what's the popular cellular band um, for wireless? data acquisition. So there's different kinds of cellular bands, uh, diff especially in different countries. So um, you would have to check with your, your local provider, uh, but we provide like the, the GSM uh, type, uh, I believe also LTE, uh, but not the WCDMA in the United States. Other countries um, that is uh, maybe available, um, and then there's also a question, is Aviva Edge PLC HMI software or SCADA software? Um, and so in that um, product I showed that starts with IWS, that's a PAC controller running Windows CE 7.0, uh, I believe. And it has um, Indusoft SCADA software on board. So it's both an HMI and it's SCADA software. It has the runtime on board. Uh, SCADA software, it comes with a, either a development, a runtime, or a development and runtime license. Um, so Aviva Edge um, is a SCADA software that we provide. One thing that's good to note is there are tons of drivers, you know, for all sorts of different hardware that you might have out there from Allen Bradley, Advantac, Siemens, Backnet, Opto22, um, just ton DNP3. There's just tons of drivers in here. So no matter what your devices are, you're probably going to find them on the list of the drivers that are available. And we also provide the training classes. We can do that over a web meeting, or we can do that um, in, in our office here, uh, we're in Southern California. We're in Lomita, which is near Los Angeles. You've got many math functions that are available. So you can set up many different screens. And uh, if there are any other questions. I don't see any other questions. Um, so I guess if you're working on any projects that we can help with, please feel free to contact us anytime. I'll be emailing you the slides from the webinar and then likely within a few days, a link uh, that has the video. 
Um, so please, if you have any projects we can help with it, just let us know. Um, and thank you so much for attending our webinar today on remote monitoring and industrial automation. Yes, thank you very much for attending. Have a great week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.